tuning in welcome to the brush in this episode we're out here i just shot my bird this morning and it's about noon i'm sure you have already seen this seen the video of that by the time you're seeing this hopefully now my dad's up the bat he's got his tag and we're headed back in here to the spot that we were this morning to see if we can get on those birds because they were henned up and wouldn't talk so but we'll be filming all this weekend and after work during the week for his tag so this video will be the rest of the week the rest of the season or until he gets it done so you gotta stay tuned 15 minutes yeah, yeah. just about to be 10 o'clock here and we came up to the same spot where I shot my turkey yesterday I'll link that video up in the corner of the screen here same exact spot and I was doing some calling just just before that to try to see if one would gobble up in here before we went barging in there no gobbles so we walked right up to the edge and we couldn't get this on film because we only saw him for a split second and it's super brushy but we saw a turkey running down through the bottom of the gravel pit down here and we didn't we couldn't identify the turkey obviously because we just barely saw it but we knew it was a turkey so we sat down and i didn't expect there to be a gobbler running through the bottom of the gravel pit or whatever i just thought it was a hen going to her nest or whatever but i called and he gobbled right there at 100 yards just like scared the crap on me i was like dang no way then 30 seconds later i could hear spitting and drumming i'm like oh he's coming he's coming another 30 seconds later he pops up at like 40 50 yards for whatever reason it seemed like he ignored the decoy 
because he obviously could see it. We had the decoy right in front of us and the wide open. And he kind of just passed it up and was skirting to our right. But regardless of that, we still had a 20 yard shot, but just couldn't get it done. We looked where he shot and wasn't a bunch of brush blown up either. It was a fairly open shot. So not exactly sure what happened, but don't win them all. So good thing it's only, it's only 10 o'clock right now. So we still got a lot of daylight left. The sun is starting to peak out. So hopefully it'll get the turkeys fired up and we're gonna keep hitting spots and try to get one on the ground. So you guys stay tuned.
That's it. Freaking go. <laughs> Let's go. Woo. Go, dude. <laughs> Oh my god! Let's go! Dude! Let's freaking go! Oh my god! Oh, he, he's toast. Ooh. Dude! Dude. That took Let's too go. long, man. That took too long. This log hung him up so bad. Oh, yeah. But oh. I, I knew we if we waited that he would have to come look around this log. If you think about it, he can't see over that log. I was thinking about scratching, but he was still so interested. I just wanted to let it play out. And man, after today's episode, what was that? A couple hours ago? Yeah. I'm like, no, no, no. Okay, not even here I could have squeezed I it up. I'm like, no. You wait you waited. I waited till you said you had an opening. I called to stop him and then boom right there. Nice shot. Oh, I mean I needed that one. Go. I That's needed like, that. Probably 35, probably about the same as mine. <laughs> no, dude, the last two days turkey hunting has been insane. I know dude. it's crazy. And I needed that after that miss this morning, man. I'm I, like, come I, on. I felt on. so bad this morning. I was like, how is that possible? But alert, took it the lesson already today, man. I'm like, just wait. I could have yeeted three, four times. Yeah, he was in. He was at 40 yards for five minutes, just hammering. For hammering. about, I'd say like closer to 10 minutes. Really? On here, I'm at 15 minutes right now on this, and I clicked it when I saw him up there in the woods. Dude. So. He's been right in front of us for like 10 minutes, like Justin said, just hammering, hammering. We had no decoy out either. We just left the decoy at the truck because we were just like, oh, we'll just go call real, right, real quick right here, see if there's any in there. He hammered, we ran up to this good spot, this downfall right here, our hide was really good. And I, I only had to call one more time and he was, he gobbled 30, 40 times coming through the woods right to us, dude. He covered See. that last couple hundred yards in minutes. Oh yeah. The key was probably you didn't call when he was able to see in the yes. woods. Yep. I knew since we didn't have a decoy, I had just had to not call. Yeah. I thought about trying to scratch when he was hung up there, but I could see him through there and I thought he might see me or like pinpoint that so good and be like, yeah, there's no hen there. So definitely waiting for an open shot on this was the right call. So, Plan him out and let's take a look at this sucker. <laughs> Let's check what time it is right now, man. This is straight midday turkey, 12.16. 12.16. So we probably struck him at like 11.50. Yeah, we, we struck him from way that way. Like I called once, I asked them, I was like, do you guys hear one? And they said, no, I was like, yeah, I could have swore I heard one. So I called again and that time we could hear him over here. So we moved probably 150 yards this way, cut the distance towards him gotten a good setup and he just came in on a string until he hung up behind this log here but I knew if we gave it enough time he would circle around that and give us a better shot and sure enough I was kind of thinking I wish we would have set up here I know then we got him coming through there but then we wouldn't have had the show either yeah that that was like I'm almost glad he hung up because the show was so cool yeah sitting there spitting drumming gobbling strutting just everything I mean after the the highs of the highs and lows of this morning, calling that one in and missing him at 20 yards. Only three hours later, here we are with another bird on the ground. I almost quit. Yeah, I almost quit turkey yeah, hunting. I, I felt bad for that one, but that's what happens when you stick with it. You stick with it on a nice sunny, good weather day like this, and come back out here. Sun popped good things out. Will happen. Another one was gobbling over here too, right? Yeah. There's two of them in the fields right here. Yeah you guys made it to this point in the video make sure to subscribe down below for more videos like this i'd really appreciate it hit that like button and we'll see you guys in the next episode of bust and brush holy shite